So I put Kylian Mbappe into the Premier League to see how he would really deal with the English pressure. As you can see, he's just moved to Arsenal. It's not just Mbappe who's in this league. We have Jude Bellingham who's just joined Liverpool. Muziala who's just gone to Newcastle. And I'm going to call him... What's his, what the fuck is his name? Huh? You can call me Kvara, but my name is... Mr. K has gone to United. With these big names now in the Premier League, how is the table looking? Arsenal, Liverpool, Newcastle and United. Mate, United are doing stinky. Whoa. Fulham are top of the league. Newcastle are third. Arsenal are eighth with Mbappe. That is poor. Mbappe's got five goals in nine league games. Considering Arsenal aren't doing too bad, Drew Bellingham's getting on ten games. Yet to get a goal or an assist with an average of a six rating. Muziala, wow, bang average. Mr. K... Um, he's doing okay. So we're in March. This is how the league table is looking. Newcastle, bloody hell. They're top of the league on 57 points. Guessing Martial is doing alright. Um, Mbappe's picking up a little bit by the looks of it with Arsenal. He's on 10 goals and 26. You would expect from Mbappe to be up there. Bellingham has one assist in 21 appearances. Martiala, he's got two goals and one assist in 17 games. He's not doing too great either. Mr. K has got seven goals in 17 apps. That's not the worst. The season's finished. Let's take a look at the table. Newcastle have won the league. Bellingham and Liverpool have just fallen second on 75 points. Mbappe's finished with no European football tour. I don't think he'd be too happy with that. Mr. K, uh, Thursday nights, mate. They're not they're not too bad. Mbappe actually grabbed the golden boot. Mbappe's also in the FA Cup final against Fleetwood. Drew Bellingham won the Carabao Cup with Liverpool. Mr. K's in the Europa League final, so they may even get bloody Champions League football now if they win this. In 37 apps, Mbappe's got 21 goals and 6 assists. He's still 92 rounds. Rated, so his overall stayed the same. Drew Bellingham with a very quiet season for Liverpool. He's gone up in rating. He's now 87. With two goals and one assist in 27 apps is Muziala. Um, he's now 88 rated. All of these ratings are going up. Mr. K, nine goals and one assist in 20 games. He's played fewer games. He may have been injured. Um, he's now 87 rated as well. Arsenal won. And Mr. K won 3-1. What if I put Mbappe onto a plane and flew him to the only ever destination he's ever dreamed of being at? And that's Madrid. So we're in December and this is how the league is looking. Madrid are on top. The real question is, how's Mbappe getting on there? Four goals and two assists in 14 games. I mean, it's not terrible. I just imagine like 10 odd goals by now. Yeah, he's nowhere to even be seen in the top 25 goal scorers. They're doing alright in the Champions League as well. There we go, he wins player of the month, you can see. So it's the end of the season and Real Madrid have won the league by one single point. Madrid did lose the Copa de España uh, to Barca on penalties, which is very unfortunate. They also got knocked out in the semi-finals to Man City, who are now playing Spurs. Mr. Mbappe's done it again. 31 goals in 38 games. 38 games, 31 goals and 6 assists. Isn't bad at all. He's at 92 rated as well. I've just simulated the second season and Mbappe has won the Euros. We're 16 games into the season uh, and Madrid is sitting at third. Madrid topped their Champions League group with 18 points, winning all 6 games. Mbappe's now a 93 rated striker with nine goals and seven assists in 16 appearances the season has finished and madrid have finished fourth they were knocked out by valencia in the round of 32 they also crashed out in the semi-final again to inter milan so not an absolutely crazy season for mbappe in 38 appearances he's got 18 goals and 11 assists still pretty good but going off the match rating he's been the best madrid player he's now 94 rated so he's only getting better what if mbappe decides to move to germany we're halfway through the season and Bayern munich are no i'm not surprised again they're at the top of the league He's fifth in the goal scoring ranking. Mbappe's on 11 goals and three assists um, in 16 games. A very high match rating again. Seems to be doing really good. Still 91 rated. They're in the quarterfinals of the German Cup and the round of 16 against PSG against his old club. And there you have it. They've won the league. They've also won the German Cup. As for the Champions League, they're in the final against Madrid against Mbappe's dream club. Mbappe has won the Champions League as well. He gets the golden boot in the Champions League with 12 goals, finishing 7th in the Bundesliga with 19 goals. That's still very impressive. His overall in his first season with Bayern Munich has gone up 1. He's got 19 goals as well and 7 assists. So he's won the treble. He's won the Champions League, the Bundesliga and this weird FA Cup version of the German Cup. Now, what if Mbappe moves to Millwall, a championship club who have struggled to find their way into the Premier League in recent years? It's currently December and Millwall are sitting in second place just behind Watford on 43 points. And Mbappe, surprisingly, he isn't like he isn't doing nuts. Um, he only has eight goals and five assists in 20 games. I say only, but this is the championship we're talking about, and this is Mbappe we're talking about. He's 12th in the championship goal scoring tally. And fast forward to the end of the season, Millwall have actually gained promotion to the Premier League. 
league, only being two points behind Leicester. Mbappe manages to pick up his form, getting 19 goals in 45 games, finishing fifth place, um, and overall scoring 19 goals and 12 assists within 45 appearances. Let me know your thoughts on Mbappe and what league he would thrive in the most. I've enjoyed doing this, so thank you very much if you've made it this far, and um, I'll catch you later.